Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips 10 Minute Tour, sponsored by Interco Special Steels and Alloys. I'm here with Alex Jorinsky, and we're going to take a tour of West End Precision. Chris and I last night thoroughly enjoyed going to the beach because we're right by the beach here. We had lovely chips and a nice stroll along the sea. So you've got a nice it's location. It's brilliant. It's definitely a location to be in the world. We like it. We, we, we power a four day week here as well. So everybody that works at West End gets three days to go to the beach and eat chips and have ice creams if oh they want to do it. Oh my gosh. There you go. Any jobs go in there. Come down to West End. Yeah. Um, this is going to be fun. This is a tour. This company is so big, we can't get around it, right? There's three buildings here so what we've had to do is hopefully we can come back here again but we're going to get a little taster of their most recent investments and why they've kind of stuck with brands just a quick one what are you making here what are you doing it's high volume stuff lots of braking system stuff we do a bit for the oil and gas industry um, but the key strap line is massive volumes so that's our we volumes, don't do changeover turn parts. turn parts yes all turn parts no no milling all turn parts all volume all from bar there's such a lovely story here, right? Let's have a look at the first machine. <laughs> what is older, me or the machine? <laughs> it is a good question. We shouldn't ask a lady or an age, so I, we oh, don't no. need to answer that Who question. Says I'm a lady? <laughs> uh, okay, but you didn't buy this new, so, did you? No, we didn't. So this was our first in, uh, sort of step into Nakamura some 20 odd years ago. The machine is nearly 30 years old. Um, obviously, it was bought as a 10 year old machine. Let's have a go, let's see what happens. Um, and now, look what we're doing now instead. And uh, these are some of the parts, of but you didn't buy new, did you? As in, I know you've just said that, but no. you didn't buy your first new machine, that no. Mule, until uh, when? The growth of West End to get it where it is now has been typically used investment, used machines, pick it up when the market's right. Um, that's the way that we've operated on stuff. But now with the reliability, we start seeing on older machines and in all fairness, Lindsay, with the, the um, confidence we've had from the customers that now the customer base has grown, that there's not so much of the risk of like, if we invest, where's the business going to come from? Whereas now we've got the confidence there, the old machines are getting a bit more unreliable just because of their age. So now we, we go on and we invest in new stuff. Are you trying to say I've become more unreliable? <laughs> uh, just a quick one, which right. way we're going down we'll here. Go down this way. Uh, what, what's your spend? Because investment wise, you've spent a lot of money on machines. Uh, we've recently. spent, we, we're comfortably six figures with Nakamura this year or yep. with ETG. Um, I would think probably three quarters of a million. We've got other stuff lined up now for the end of the year. Um, and that's just here in the Nakamura side. We've invested quite heavily in star sliders in the other factory as well. Yes. That's still growing, that's still quite exciting as well. And there's some projects on with those guys as well, what we're doing. Here's some examples so of parts that you're making here. So tell me about this, this machine, the WT100. So this 100, so it's slightly smaller than the 150s we've got here. Super fast, super compact, super fast. We're running these stuff off like masses of volumes. They are that's part you've got in your hands. It runs about thirty thousand bits a year. Oh, Disappointingly, wow. to a degree, maybe we've got this lovely state of the art machine, and all it's ever going to do for its life is make those components. But that, that's, that's that's not a bad business problem to have. But no, but it gives us the flexibility. Certainly not. No, um, no, tell me good. about the history of the company as well. Like it's your grandfather's, so, isn't it? Grandfather started it in old farm buildings um, in the seventies. My father got involved with it then in the eighties. I've came back to the business about 10 years ago and then in the last five years my father sort of fully retired and now got handed over the reins and we're taking it to the next step so it's certainly now the next 20 years of excitement what we're going to do which again goes hand in hand with the level of investment we're doing because if to survive another 20 years we've got these machines aren't going to last another 20 no. years and at the moment business is good the whole industry is seeing busyness we've got to do it we've got to yeah. keep going with it um okay Nakamura Tomy WT250. Yep. I really want you to see the age and the differences of these machines because you can see, and it's quite interesting, we're talking about all like new modern technology, but what we're really noticing is here is a direct comparison of what Nakamura ETG, as companies as brand, of what the machine tool companies are doing to back up. Yeah, well they're developing. They are developing and, and investing. What's that? There's a tunnel <laughs> going off. That's it. So for our quality inspection, the guys will take the quality bits over to the quality room to be checked. And once they're ready to be picked up, or there's a query, they'll tannoy. So rather than wandering around the shop floor looking for people, shout them all over, call someone's name, you've and been again. summoned. It's not lunch. Go and check it all out. No, it's, it's not definitely lunch. not lunch. It must be nearly lunch time, Lindsay. Are you buying? Uh, some of the butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chips. The yeah, chips. Ice there we cream go. and chips. That's an idea of something we're doing. So on a WT250, that is tiny for it. The machine is far more capable but we haven't got the demand at the moment, so we're just running this sort of stuff, runs off, and again, that's probably a batch of 5,000 pieces. Oh, okay, so basically you've got a machine here, it's not doing all that you need, but because of the investments, you've always got this as a bit yes, of backup and capacity. Certainly, on the, on the new WT150s we've just bought, the, the few that we put in, 
we've, we've paid for the upgrade for, for a relatively small fee to put oversized spindles in them. So oh. we don't need it today, but it will give us the flexibility for the future to be able to run bigger material, bigger marts, more, more stuff. So it's so quite a small investment for like... Well, considering up. what the spend on the machine is, yes, it is. It's not a, not a huge level. To retrofit and change it later would be more difficult. Right. But to do it now when they're new, of course, so you, you save on the bits you don't have. So there of, is some benefits to be had for it. And yeah. it's being like that ahead of the game, I yes, guess. Yes, yeah, it's trying to be, without you knowing know. what the future is. Well, <laughs> Who knows? You don't, do no, you? No one knows. Quick one, I just want you to see this. See this machine and the curve of this machine. Now, I can see access. <clears throat> it's an older machine, but like, I can really see a difference because they've just recently bought one, two today, two one got delivered. Yeah, one today, that's right. WT150 machines. The, the footprint of this machine has changed so much yes, over the years. Yes. So how's that helping you as a business? Are, are they supporting you in yes, industry? Yes, they are support. Yeah, definitely, absolutely. And it, it just it moves it going. forward and keeps it current. So it does all help with it. It all helps. The products are the same. Everything that runs on those older machines will run on the new machines. They run faster on the new machines. The new machines are a bit more reliable because they're new, but actually that, that's all the advantage of just having a newer machine, that's all. And, wh and when you're saying the parts are faster, what does that mean for West End? Because you're talking about thousands and yes. volumes. So well, if, if we're making thousands and we're 2% faster, it's 2%, isn't it? It's easier yeah. and it's not 2%, it's more like 10, 15, 20%. So it is massive. It's big investments, but it is big, big gains on it because at the moment we have the market, we have the demand, we've got customers screaming at us for stuff. So it's, it's the time to be doing it. That's Absolutely the time to be doing it. Brilliant. Right, okay. <coughs> this is your T, uh, TW20. TW20, yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me about this machine. So this is so there's a funny story with this one, Lindsay. We, this, this is a classic West End case. This was bought as a used machine. ETG didn't provide this one. This came in used. It came yeah. available on the used market probably on a Tuesday or a Wednesday a few years ago. Uh, Dad saw it, quite liked the idea. It was in Barcelona. So he jumped on a plane, went to Barcelona, shook a bloke's hand. 24 hours later, we paid for it. Another 24 hours, I had a couple of guys <laughs> out extracting it. Another 24 hours, they were in watching FC Barcelona play football. Uh, and then a couple of days later, it was here in Biddyford. So within about 10 days, with it because of the way we operate the business we've got the ability to make decisions that fast we haven't got any more than a board of directors than me and my dad if we want to do something we can make him a decision we push the button and within an hour we've got it we can it's do it so it's honestly the story there has to be some advantage yes yeah, so here we go this this is what it's producing so that's coming off complete you see all the cross holes in the back of it it's quite heavy you can probably see in my hand it's quite a big piece that to make that from bar because the bar is 60 mil diameter at steel, yeah. the bar itself would be so heavy, it wouldn't run on the machine, or the machine would struggle to hold the finishes on it. Right. So to get around it, we cut them into billets, and then we gantry load a billet. So rather than using a gantry loader for a casting, we are just using it for billeted material. So over on the other building, we've got an automatic saw, so the material comes in, chops into billets, chops into billets. over, and then they load billets into the machine. Oh, I see just because of the weight, the weight of the part. You're keen on automation. I've Absolutely. noticed like, yes, on yes, all yes, of yes. the... But I guess you have to be doing volume. You have to be, yeah, and you've got to, be, to make this work. The model works with this. If we get, if one guy can run to three, if even four, if we have get good, good with them, yes. they run four machines because it keeps your labour down and then it keeps the machines running. And same again, if the spindles are turning, you're making the money. So you've oh, got yeah. to he keep them turning. Oh, yeah, he knows our sayings, keep those spindles turning. <laughs> that's, 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 that's it, that's it, isn't it? Absolutely. You're not, um, you're not afraid of using different brands either, are you? No, no, you no. Know, you do have your mass axe. You've mentioned your staff, your yeah. sliders. We've got some do sound, we've got some do guard. Um, what else have we got? <laughs> citizens, we've got citizens sliders as well. We, something like 78, yeah. Lots here. I don't know. So people ask and I say lots. I don't know. Lots. <laughs> lots. One more today. One from Barcelona. <laughs> yeah, One yeah, more we today. Go. We literally turned up at this company, no word of a lie, and they were like, oh, by the way, there's like one getting delivered today. It's like <laughs> a machine tool. This isn't like. You know, no. it's not like, oh, just an Amazon parcel of £10. We're talking about a machine tool. Well, we don't ah. get excited about it, but it is. We're getting it running. We'll be more impressed next week when it's running. So, yeah. WT150, we've yes. already seen one. Why'd you go for this then? Went for this. Well, it's, it's the machine of choice for us. If we're going to buy new, it matches everything else. We've got the crossover with tooling because all the tooling, of course, now changes between it. This machine has actually been delivered without a sniff of tooling, not a single tool deliberately because oh, really? we've got so much flexibility on tooling here already yeah. i can save the cost because it's all interchangeable we haven't got any more jobs we haven't got any more work other than the organic growth this isn't yes. project based this is just investment in west end bringing it all up obviously you can probably imagine there was a machine here a week yes. ago that's, yes. that's gone out the door anyway so it's made the space so it's just from genuinely just improving a bit better on what we've got oh that's all gosh. we're doing that's the Honestly, reason for it this company is so <laughs> impressive Oh, like, are we good? this could be like a 40 minute tour. Right, <laughs> um, some parts here uh, we got on a Mazak. Yeah. But my question to you is well, again, Mazak, you've got the gantry loader yep. as well. I, you're going for higher technology. This is something that's really quite important. And 
This is a, a machine that's been in here about a year now. Yes. And it is the W, no, sorry. No, not NTY3. W, NTY3. NTY3, NTY3, yes. Three spindles. Three turrets. Three turrets. Two spindles, three turrets. That's the one. Um, wow. This is your higher higher level of technology. Yes. That this you're is probably for. one, of the, if not the most expensive machine here at West End that's we've ever bought. Um, it was a huge gamble to buy it, but yeah. it's paying off, and we're, I'll show you what we're making now. But you bought we, it for a different reason, didn't you? Tell, tell we, everyone why so you we went bought for it. it. The reason we actually bought it was something similar to this thing in my hands. There's a family of parts, and there was a reasonable volume of them, but it wasn't enough for one machine. So we tooled the machine up on all three turrets to be able to produce all five parts at the same time. So you can program it up, and the controllers are so clever now, you can choose two of these, three of these, one of them, yeah. without actually having to set it and change it. So we've removed the skill set. Once it's set, an operator is capable, because that's the difficulty we've got. But we ended up then, the volumes went so silly, we never changed it all over. So we had a fairly oh, yeah. simple job running on a very sophisticated machine. Yeah. So that's been redeployed now back to the WT-150s, the WT-100s, mm -hmm. and now we're making something as complicated as that. We have the cross holes in here, of the driven tool in the car. There's a roller burner to finish inside, that's a seal finish. Show that in there, yeah. In there. And that comes off complete. This is the one where it was on a twin turret machine. That's, uh, yes, twin, twin turrets and spindle. It was coming off in about seven minutes. It's coming off here in about four minutes. I mean, you can't... So that's mega. There's a price tag with it, but it works. And when you get to the end of the month and you draw a line underneath it all, it still works. It still makes sense. It's definitely it's, the way to go with honestly, it. Honestly, the stories here are incredible. Let's just finish off down there. Um, higher technology. Is this the way forward for you? Or do you still, like, what are you seeing? What are your goals for the future? So there's, there's more Nakamura. There's more, yeah, there's some of the earlier this old is, stuff. And um, you notice the footprint of them has changed so yeah, much. Yeah, they got a lot smaller years. for the size of the machine. Yeah, there's, I think with the technology's moving on. Nakamura are doing a great job, ETG are doing a great job at keeping up with it. It's certainly not, not the same. You see some of the older machines, it's not just remodeled the old machines. They've spent some money. The triple turret stuff is a great level of investment. The driven tooling stuff we're getting. Everything about it is going leaps and bolts. I don't, I don't know if they can ever get full turrets in. That would be good. <laughs> <laughs> There's a challenge, There's a challenge for you. Yeah. There, there. You know yeah. what? It wouldn't surprise me if yeah. they, they have all they have. Um, okay, what's going forward for you? West End, where do you see yourself? You know, you've been at the company a while. You've gone, you've come yeah. back. Where are you heading? Just and, and also well, for engineers yeah, watching. Yeah, I don't know. You know? It's Karen doing it. There's lots of work out there. There's lots of, we're in a very strong position. We, 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 we're a cash rich business if you like we don't do any borrowing so actually from a from a point of view here we can we can afford to do this as long as we keep up going with it but if it does dry up we, we haven't got to worry about paying any finance bills so that makes a huge difference to us yeah we can manage local well, there's a local employment thing we do really well to we keep, keep people employed on it like that yeah um, but it's definitely it's not corporate and not selling out to someone big it's this is always going to be a family business yeah and actually i know personally every member of staff on site Yes. You know, that, uh, that relationship is brilliant. If anyone on site's got an issue, they can come and see me rather than just someone on a bit of paper that's registered somewhere in, a, in an American company yeah. just taking a share out of the business. So it's yeah, and that's that's good for me. That's what I enjoy. That's the big thing for you me. You can see that you enjoy it. You really yeah, can. It's good. It's really what good. What are you doing at the weekend? Because the weather's <laughs> getting better now. You're not far from the seaside. No. And well, I know you've been surfing with your family. So. <laughs> We're off to Newquay, why not? We yeah. can, it's an hour down the road, uh, so why not? We're in this part of the world, it's no big deal. So yeah, make the most of it, it's great. Do you love what you do? Yes, absolutely. And why? I don't know, I've never analysed why, but we do. We love, it. love the interaction, love the people. It's being involved with the industry, it's the opportunity to do it. It's just, yeah, people, people I suppose. People. People's a good thing, It's yeah. been people. an absolute people. pleasure coming to this company. <laughs> We're going to have to make another date, aren't we, Chris? <laughs> you and I to come, come back, back down here. Come on, chips, chips again. Surfing. Come on, come on in the summer, but the weather's better. Yeah. Uh, we're there. We're, we're there. Yeah. We've got a we're date good. in the diary uh, to come back. This company's huge. It's got so much promise, and especially with Alex here running it, your enthusiasm—it's oh, we'll going to go far, definitely. Thank you so much. Lovely. Thanks for thank coming you in, guys. For watching.